Hey guys! Okay, today's video is going to be um, a little bit of a collection haul or just like kind of a nail polish haul mostly. Um, so since my last video where I featured the Deborah Littman Girls um, nail polish collection um, or a little gift set which you can see up here. Um, I've pretty much become obsessed with Deborah Littman nail polishes which I know is ridiculous but um, yeah, so I'm really obsessed with them now. So I've kind of cut myself off this past two weeks. I have not bought any polishes, so very good for me. Um, plus, Essie just came out with, um, I don't know, if it's not their resort collection. It's like their summer something collection. Um, and they have like four really pretty colors. And that has distracted me from buying like Deborah Lippman, which is good because it's a heck of a lot more affordable than Deborah Lippman polishes, which are ridiculously expensive but beautiful and wonderful polishes that have sucked me in so anyway I'm gonna show you the girls ones one more time just in case you did not check out that video and whatever I'm just gonna show you my whole collection so I'm gonna show you those ones first since we've already seen them but just F just FYI or whatever so this is one of the girls ones and this is Shoshana just a really pretty lavender then this one is Jessa, just a really pretty red. This one is Hannah, it's a hunter green. And then this one is Marnie, and it's just a really pale pink. And it's very similar to the one that I'm wearing now. This is Fiji from S or yeah, Essie, which is like one of my hands down favorite, favorite nail polishes ever. Um, actually almost out of the one that I have, which I don't have on the table, but um, so I have to buy another one, but this is pretty similar. It doesn't go on as opaque as um, Essie's Fiji, so that's the only thing that's a little bit about it, but um, it is very similar and very pretty. Okay, so then I bought five more polishes, which in, in the last few weeks, um, I don't know what my problem is, but I'm kind of crazy. So anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to show you the first one. This is Day Tripper. And it's coming up really orange on camera, but it is very, like, corally pink. Um, I do like this color a lot. I don't feel like I should have bought this in the Deborah Lippman polishes because, um, for one, it is super dupable. Like, I can, t I probably have, like, three SD colors, if you look up here, <laughs> like, that are the same color as this or very similar. Um, so this was kind of a not very good idea, Danielle kind of purchase but I couldn't help myself and the name is Day Tripper I don't know if I told you that or not I just think it's a cute name um, I think all Deborah Lemon polishes are named after um, songs I'm pretty sure or a majority of them are unless she has like certain collections that um, like the girls and then I think like the mermaid ones are not but anyway going off on a rant but this is very pretty it does go off sheer it does take like three or four coats to become opaque um so out of all the colors that I have recently purchased this one I would say was like the biggest dud for me even though it's still a very beautiful color um the next one that I picked up which I was eyeing for a long time um and I'm actually pro really pleased with it because I don't have another color that's similar to it I think it's unique and that's what I really like about Deborah Lippman polishes in general is that they're very unique um besides obviously like Day Tripper which is comparable but that's when you buy any polish that's like similar to something else but I do find that a lot of Deborah Lippman polishes are very unique like different like which I'll show you with the next three but um this one is in Moon Rendezvous and it just looks like this it's so pretty it's not gonna really show up as beautiful on uh, camera here especially since I'm filming on my iPad but it is like a silverly, silverly, silvery blue. Um, it has like blue kind of sparkles in it. I don't know. It's just such a beautiful color. Um, I'm really, really happy with this and it looks nice on my skin tone. Sometimes I like the silvers like just don't look as nice on my skin tone. But I think because there's that blue in it, it's just really pretty. So I'm really happy with that one. The next two that I'm going to show you, um, the next three actually are the most unique polishes that I have and I'm very happy with them and I love them. Um, this one is from the Mermaid line that she, I believe is recent. I want to say it's like at least the past few months it's, it's recent, but don't quote me on that because I'm not really too in like, 
I just don't really know when the collections came out and if they've been out for a long time, but this one was on the website, um, like the heading on the website, so I'm assuming it's relatively new. Um, and it just looks like this. It's such a pretty color. I've worn this um, all over my nails, so on all my nails, or I even like to wear it like with um, Estes Fiji and then as an accent nail. Like this is just a, a cut above, I think, from Estee. I don't have it. I was going to look for it, but um, it must be behind me. Uh, but this is like really pretty combination with that or any other light pink or with a gold. Um, what it has in it is it's a sheer pink. I don't know how good you'll be able to see. And then it has kind of like a little bit bigger um, dark pink uh, sparkles in it. And then it has very fine um, gold sparkles in it. And it is so pretty on the nails. It's pretty on... Um, just like I said, like an accent nail or um, all over your nails. I post pictures on my Instagram all the time. Um, so if you want, you can follow me. Actually, just follow me on my Twitter because it links to my Instagram. But I usually don't like accept people on my Instagram because I don't know. I'm kind of weird about it. Like I just like to know exactly who's looking at my pictures. But I don't care if people follow me on Twitter. Like you can follow me on Twitter. I think it's just Danielle James. Um, the same as my YouTube name, except for no 04. So I think it's just Danielle James at Twitter. Um, and I do post pictures of my nails or if you want on Instagram, hashtag nails of the night are all my, almost all my nails. Um, and I take pictures of my nails every single night because I pretty much paint my nails every night because, well, one, I'm a freak, uh, and two, my husband always says like you better use all those nail polishes you better be painting your nails every night so I got into like a habit of doing it and now I'm like obsessed with painting my nails every night and it's a relaxing thing for me and I just really love it so as silly as that might seem um I do paint my nails almost every night so if you just check out that hashtag nails of the night 90% of them are my nails so you can see all the swatches of every single one of these colors so anyway this one is called mermaid's kiss in case I didn't tell you as I rambled on as usual the next one is the same mermaid thing uh, mermaid's dream I probably are from the same collection I mean obviously if they're both mermaid ones but I had been eyeing this for at least a year um, when I very first found out about Deborah Lippman polishes and started looking at them, um, this is the color that I was like, I need that. I have to have that color. And it's so unique. Um, it has a purple kind of iridescent shimmer to it. It has a turquoise sort of base, um, turquoisey blue. Then it has big chunks, or not big chunks, but bigger blue glitters. And then finally... Um, kind of like blue green gold shimmers in it so it's just a super unique color um it's just very beautiful and i'm very very happy with it um both of these colors are awesome they also have a purple one in the mermaid line as well which i really want um i think that'll be the next polish that i pick up but i'm super happy with these and they wear pretty well as well um obviously don't wear my nail polish more than like a day or two like this is this is just one day. I don't know. I don't wear my nail polish long enough to be like, oh, it wears really well because um, I'm a freak. And then my favorite, favorite one um, recently that I j this is the most recent one that I picked up, I believe. Actually, I might have got Day Tripper before. But anyway, is um, Rockin' Robin. And this is the coolest nail polish ever, I think. It's a mint green. It's showing up pretty mint. Um, it's a very light mint green with black like they're not sparkles because they're just like black dots so they're just like um like glitter but they're f they're not um like shiny or iridescent at all they're like a, a flat or like a matte kind um almost and this is just the coolest cover color ever they also have it in a white a purple and a pink i believe um but i just loved the mint so much i love the mint because it reminded me of mint chocolate chip ice cream and i love mint chocolate chip ice cream and i just thought the mint was unique i also really want to get the white one um but i feel like you only need really one or the other the black and white one is really cool um i was just a little bit nervous that it might not be as opaque um, I thought it was going to take like a lot of coats to get the color, but this goes on opaque in like two coats and it's awesome and it's so cool. I'm hesitant of painting my nails this next or um, actually Essie's 
uh, bikini to so teeny. Those are like the ones I want to paint. I can't decide which between. But I really, really love this color and I'm very, very happy with it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Little um, haul of Deborah Littman polishes. And I will, I'm sure, be adding to my collection. Um, I'm trying not to be as soon, but um, I definitely have a couple of colors in mind. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.